Everyone got their reasons for treason, but today we're going to be talking about Tesla AI Grok hit it to the tippy top. Shout outs to the solving the money problem. Got to give them a like. Elon slash XAI stuns the world in earth shattering day. Big deal for Tesla. Let's talk about this Grok. Right now, this video is about Tesla. The team at XAI, led by Elon Musk, have just started rolling out Grok 2 Meter to X users, X subscribers, and the capabilities have absolutely blown my mind. Now, I said a moment ago, this video is about Tesla, despite the fact that we're discussing Grok. If you haven't figured out the connection, don't worry, I will explain. Now, I'm not sure if access has rolled out globally to all premium users of X, but I certainly have access. I got access last night. The first thing I did is asked if it could generate an image, and seconds later, which truly stunned me, out popped this. No prompt at all. I just said, I was just trying to ask if we could actually do this, right? Now, I suspect that the speed that these requests are actually processed is going to massively decrease over time as more users start testing this stuff out. But so, guys, if you don't know this, he asked Grok to go ahead and generate a photo, and this is what it came up. So this is an artificial intelligence photo, and this photo is on par with MidJourney. I don't know if you're familiar with MidJourney, but it's one of the number one in AI generation for photos, and I utilize MidJourney, but this is really good. I've seen other applications and softwares but it hasn't been as good as Mid Journey, but this looks pretty serious. But I was absolutely stunned. Grok 2 Beta is now producing images that are comparable to the best AI image generation, e.g. Mid Journey. Stunned, my next prompt. So the next one is gonna be Diablo. I don't play that video game, but they do. I asked Grok 2, create me an image of Diablo 4. Now this would be appropriate as the primary artwork for a game. This is on point if you know, you know. And I noticed, holy shit, it's made an attempt at creating a logo. You will not find any other AI that will generate images that has the balls to include a logo. It's a big no-no. Grok doesn't give a shit. This is actually important. Now, why this matters so much, we're going to find out. Yeah, that's pretty true. It will not generate an actual image with the words in it. Copyright. Startup, the small, incredibly talented team led by Elon Musk, have posted an update to their software, which is now on par with not only the best language models, e.g. ChatGPT, we'll get to that, but now also the best image generation. Now, this is really fucking important. Why? The rate of progress on this AI project, this company, in just over one year from doesn't exist to now on par with the best in the business is mind blowing. I said earlier. Now, guys, it, I don't know if you know, but Elon kind of started the team for OpenAI with his chat GPT. So, again, I mean, they're coming pretty far, just really just assembling a new team and, of course, putting together Grok. And so, this is pretty much a lot of leeway this is a lot of progress just for a team that was just assembled right xai was founded on march 9th and that's 2023 earlier this video is about tesla now let me explain large language models image generation this stuff is public facing users can try it out and go holy shit that's insane anyone want to guess the prompt i use for this and the stakes are nowhere near as high as autonomous vehicles meaning it's okay to publish a model that's going to make mistakes have issues with logic when it generates an image something might look a little bit out of place or who knows right because people can't die if your LLM makes a few mistakes or your image generator is not perfect. Whereas with autonomous vehicles, the stakes are life and death, meaning you need to be much more conservative in your rollout. The overarching point that I'm getting at here really matters. What Tesla's doing with autonomy under Elon Musk's leadership is somehow still flying under the radar, except the radars of some very well-informed investors. We've now seen an example of what- Included me. What a Musk-led AI effort can do in terms of rate of progress, capabilities. And it's true to say that XAI with Grok were a couple of years behind pace, getting just over a year. Yeah. And so when you have kind of the artificial intelligence generating things like XAI and Grok, it's not life threatening. But when you're dealing with FSD and trying to solve the problem of autonomy, I mean, people lives are at risk. So you have to be way more conservative. And if there is a mistake that is made on Grok with maybe just a news article or even with a photo, it is not life threatening versus the FSD, which could be. And so that means the team has to be way more conservative when they're attempting to solve for FSD automation versus just artificial intelligence, which will generate images. And this is the point that he was attempting to make. Every year, the company has gone from not existing to equaling the capabilities of everything else that's been in development for years longer. Now back to Tesla. Tesla has been working on autonomy for the better part of a decade. The haters will point and laugh and go, oh, look, they still haven't got robot taxis. They're so bad. But people with a brain will go, oh, hang on. Hmm, that's a good point. They have been working on this for nearly a decade. And now, we now they've been working on FSD for nearly a decade. Now, I want you guys to kind of understand and wrap your head around it. How old do you have to be to get a learner's permit to drive? 
and it, it's well above 10 years old. And so the artificial intelligence that is figuring out how to drive and to be fully autonomous um, is about taking around the same amount of time that it took a human to actually do the same thing. And of course, a human has to develop and et cetera. But the same thing with artificial intelligence, it has to develop and it has to figure out what it hasn't figured out yet about the human brain. We kind of already have that groundwork already laid, you know, <laughs> we already know it. We know how to do it. And of course, that's why you go to school and people teach you and you have to develop. You have to grow up. Your cognitive abilities have to change. And so and that, that's what happens in the long run. But at the end of the day, it takes longer than 10 years. So please give this artificial intelligence a chance. Biggie, 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 give me one more chance. Biggie, biggie, give me one more chance. This is not an iPhone. And Siri did not even sound good. And it wasn't a good artificial intelligence software for the longest. And Siri is a little bit more simplistic. It's narrow artificial intelligence versus general artificial intelligence. But anyways, I digress. Let's go back to the video. Now we can see what's happened with XAI and how much capability can be created on a much simpler problem. LLMs and image generation broke compared to autonomy to walk in the fucking park. But again, if we use our brains here, we think, huh, if Tesla's been working at this for nearly a decade and no one else has been even trying to develop a generalized solution for autonomy, and now another Musk-led AI effort has just shown how capable the man is of leading incredible talent to do incredible things to AI in record time, we have to ask ourselves the question. Because unlike the situation with XAI, who were way behind the pace and now suddenly caught up out of nowhere, stunning. By the way, shout out to the X data stream, which itself is probably worth the $44 billion Musk paid for Twitter. Tesla has... And also too, out of nowhere, but kind of with Elon Musk at the QB. As a QB, Elon Musk has created the first team, as I said before. So this is no surprise to me. Now, it might be surprised to a lot of you people who don't stay close with the news and stay relevant about what Elon is doing and what companies and how he creates certain different types of organizations and entities. But I'm pretty familiar with it. So it's not a surprise that his team that he assembled, just like OpenAI, is as good as ChatGPT. Very interesting, guys. Well, has been in a race of one attempting to solve autonomy all this time. And as I mentioned in the past, and it's worth underscoring again, the key to solving autonomy, the key to all AI is data. And unlike image generation, where you can crawl the internet, scrape every image that anyone's ever uploaded and start doing stuff like this. How about getting your shipping rate? Yeah, you could scrape images off the internet and you can get the data for language models. So everything that actually is utilized in chat GPT, it's a lot of that information and data on the internet. But when you're talking about FSD, we have control over that, and there is not a lot of data that you could scrape from the internet for FSD. So the computer cannot learn from data, which it does not have. And there is not other cars out here to this level as Tesla collecting as much real world data from driving that it could utilize for its training. Like the internet where you can scrape language and have a great LLM model out of almost nowhere. There is no equivalent for real world data to solve autonomy. Tesla's the only company collecting this data at scale, and they've been doing so for about a decade. My point, we've just seen an incredible example of what a Musk-led AI effort can do. This illustrates, if you really think about it, how far ahead Tesla is in terms of solving autonomy. And more importantly, we go back to the point about the data. No one else has the fleet data, so no one else could catch up to Tesla, like XAI has been able to catch up to ChatGPT, Midjourney, and so on, because they don't have the data to train on. Do you understand? It is a yeah, so they don't have the data to train on when they're talking about FSD, but we have the data that other people trade on when we're talking about LLMs and we're talking about these photo generations. Like there's so much information and data on the internet that we could utilize and leverage so we can catch up very quickly. Now, again, Tesla's always making this known. Elon, you have to trust in him. <laughs> he has the performance and the track record, but most people don't want to stay close or they just don't want to agree for whatever particular reason. But at the end of the day, the results speak louder than your shame, blame, and explain and complain. Again, everyone loves to hate Tesla. Now, this is why Tesla is going to be a competitor with ChatGPT, and it's going to be a competitor with MidJourney. So we're coming out with good services and good product, and we always push good product. So isn't it quite funny that an individual, quote unquote, stretch too thin, is actually breaking records and catching up to the competition, unlike what Ford and GM and all these other automakers say that they're going to do with EV. The competition is coming. The competition has yet to arrive, but that's completely fine. We're waiting on you. Not really. Everyone hates Tesla. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe.
and hit the notification bell so you guys can get some of this hot ether that I'm dropping on these airways because everyone loves to hate Tesla and that's okay. We're still going to win each and every day.